It's time for Be in the Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. A Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. Brought to you by Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet of Waterford. Plan your next vehicle purchase or get your credit rolling in the right direction with Regina today. And now, Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore. Good morning. You are listening to Be In The Driver's Seat. I am your host, Regina. Regina Eileen Wooded, the queen of car loans, global and international. And I'm sitting in the studio with my favorite co-host. I got two other added today. I got Dr. Teresa Moore. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, everybody? It's Dr. T. Dr. T. And then over here in sitting right next to me is my other favorite co-host, Sanjia Wiggins Wiggins. Good morning, everyone. It's Sanjia Wiggins Wiggins, Miss 411. Miss 411. Oh, yeah, don't forget about that, Miss 411. She knows what's going on in the community, what's going on in the world. But then also I have my other co-host, one of my favorite ladies, all the way, all the way out of Atlanta, Georgia. I have Miss Kathy Washington, our financial coach, hanging out with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Kathy Washington out of Atlanta, your financial life coach. Right here to help you. I think everybody's been correcting me this morning. I just want you, I want the audience to know, the listeners to know this. Everybody's correcting the queen this morning. But I love it. You know why? Because if somebody says my name wrong, I'm going to check them too, right? Check them in a nice way. But in our studio, we have this young gentleman who we're going to be talking to later on in the show. He is John Crentel. Did I say that right? Cantrell. Cantrell. You know, I love being corrected today. You know, I'm excited to be him and be a part of the show because you know what? He is very much a part of the community and he is a male role model. We were strolling down Facebook two or three o'clock in the morning. I think I was strolling. And then I hit Teresa, Ter- Dr. Teresa Moore up. Right. I hit her up on her cell and I, I text her and I said, hey, we got to get that man on the show. And she said, I said, do you know him? Of course, she, you, you knew him, right? I did. You do know him. I know of him. Yeah. OK. All right. We got to get on with this community segment before I keep running my mouth because I said I wasn't going to talk much this morning. Right. Yes. Yes. So good morning, everyone. So I wanted to remind everyone across the weekend uh, on July 16th, the suicide and crisis line hotline number changed. So now anywhere in the United States and anywhere across the world, you can dial 988 and it'll get you right over to the suicide line. Uh, crisis line and it's 24 hour access for anyone who needs emotional support so in the meantime they're asking that if you're anywhere you need help immediately dial 988 or you can also dial 1-800-273-TALK 1-800-273-TALK and that's to be connected to any trained person that can provide services for you in your time of crisis Oh, I love that. What we what else we got going on in the community, Cynthia? Well, I just wanted to talk really quick about what was happening this weekend in Heart Plaza. It was the African World Festival, so hopefully you made it down to enjoy that time there. It was a lot of people down there. It looks like it was a nice, safe environment going on. And then I wanted to talk about, we talked about before, about the um, Pontiac Mills on Wheels in mm-hmm. their annual golf event that is coming up. So if you are interested in supporting the Pontiac Mills on Wheels, that is going to be August 8th. You can visit Visit PontiacMealsOnWheels.net for more information. We would love if you could come out and support. If you can't come out, go on their website, and there will be some other ways that you can support as well. Then we have the Pontiac Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated golf outing that is also coming up, and that is September 17th. So if you are an avid golfer, you can go August 8th. You can also come back on August 17th, and that's going to be at the Fieldstone Golf Course in Auburn Hills, Michigan. You can visit PontiacDeltas.com for more information on that. And then one last thing. I wanted to talk about the 7th Annual Kids Night of the Stars. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, the mm-hmm. Queen of Car yes, the Queen of Cardinals is familiar with that. I'm telling you, this yes. is a great, 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 great project that is um, hosted by the Ascend Foundation in Pontiac. And for more information on that, if you want to do advertisement, if you want to come to the event, it will be virtual. But these, this is a way that we give over a million dollars, I think we're at now, in scholarships to kids. So that is, you can email K 
Kay Phillips at the Ascend A S C E N D Foundation dot org for more information. Again, advertising your business, just supporting all of those funds, or ninety five percent of those funds go to a scholarship. And I think that's all I have. Well, you know, we just want to encourage you to just give, buy an ad, donate because every year. Um, the Queen Carol owns at Joe Longhammer. We actually buy an ad and we participate. So Kano Phillips is doing a lot of great things in the community. So shout out to Kano Phillips. And Sanjia, she's being humble because she is on the board of the Sin Foundation. She yeah. doesn't like to give all her, uh, you know, pat on the backs. But I'll give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. You're working got, hard. It's for working the kids. Hard. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, always for the kids. But that meant we also have next month we have a kids segment that we'll be doing every month. Yes. Yeah, so next month we have a kids segment that we'll be doing and it's kicking off with Nyla Johnson who is the youngest author that we've met. She's 10 yes. years old and she lives right in Rochester, Michigan. So we're excited. And Nyla has her books in over 250 Meyer stores and we are waiting for Target and Walmart to pick her up. So su- we're so super excited for Nyla Johnson. Shout out to Nyla. I'm excited she'll be on the show next next month. But we're going to speak to John. John, let me get your name right. Kentrell. I got that right. Yes, yes. Give me a pat on the back. I wish we had some clap claps. Clap, yes. Clap. So John, John is currently, you know, I'm going to let Dr. Teresa Moore kind of just talk to him and ask questions. And I'm going to step out of the way and I'm going to be quiet over here. So I'm super excited to be sitting next to this young man. He is an active participant in the Pontiac area, and I'm going to uh, allow him to talk a little bit more about that. But, John, kind of tell the listeners today a little bit about you and what you do in the community. Basically, uh, I'm a a basketball player. Um, I played overseas. I came back to the community to help out the kids, um, share my experience with them, and show them that it is a way to uh, get out of poverty and uh, be successful. So also tell us a little bit more about what you do day to day, even in the city that you live in. Well, day to day, I uh, do photography. Um, I have a clothing line. I'm associated with a few other clothing brands in the city of Pontiac. I train kids. I I pick them up, look after them um, throughout the day, uh, raise my family, and that's about it. So that's good. But, John, you do a lot. So talk about, like, you're doing basketball camp right now, right? Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. I have a a training company called Dream Skills. It's basically uh, ages from 8 years old to 18. Um, I do that personal training on my own. But I also uh, train for the Pontiac Recreation Center, which is uh, it's free for kids any age. And I also train with the Project Excel uh, program Monday uh, through Wednesday. And that's the ages uh, K through fifth grade. Wow, wow, wow. I know that uh, Kathy had a question all the way out of Atlanta, Georgia. I do, John. It's so, so, so nice to have you on the show. And I'm super excited because of the uh, just the impact that you're making on the lives of kids. I'd love to know if you could just maybe go a little deeper and talk about, um, you know, what what would you like to share uh, with our audience today in terms of uh, perhaps how how your parents raised you? Oh, yeah. My parents, uh, my upbringing was kind of it wasn't strict, but it was kind of like discipline. So my parents, they raised me to uh, to share and uh, share everything, like my thoughts, my feelings, and um, basically respect and understand others. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. So, okay, so when I heard the word basketball, when I read your information about basketball, we kind of talked a little bit about my two children that play basketball and <laughs> AAU and I've been traveling all around the world, not the world, because the world would be Ukraine, Qatar, Lebanon and Sweden where you've been, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So tell us a little bit about that. Like, how did you get involved in basketball and how did you go out into the world and show them what Pontiac looks like? Uh, well, I first picked up the ball. Well, I don't remember, but my parents told me I was three. So within that time span from three to high school, I had a big impact on the city. Everybody seen my talent. Ended up going to Pontiac Northern, uh, two-time state champion. Um, Huskies. Definitely. I didn't have uh, the grades to pass the clearinghouse, so I ended up having to walk on a basketball team Mm -hmm. instead of um, using my scholarships that I had offered. So I went to Chicago State, walked on first year. Second year, they gave me a scholarship for a ride. 
And um, I was nationally known throughout college. And after that, I proceeded to uh, the NBA, you know, um, had a few workouts. And then I, that led me to go overseas, which I learned how to uh, I learned how to live. Like the experience over there with different people, it changed my life a lot. It changed my perspective on life and uh, my outlook on everything, you know, so. Okay, I'll have to get my kids to meet you so they can, you know, see what greatness looks like in this basketball thing. I want to back up just a little bit, and I said I wasn't going to ask a question, but you, you you hit on something I don't think everybody heard. You said you had to walk on the basketball um, squad. Was that, you said, because of grades? You said, what did yeah. you say? Yes, I, didn't, I couldn't pass the clearinghouse. So you were a Prop 48, right? Was that You know what that is? Yeah. yeah okay, so I was a Prop 48, too. And I had to go to junior college and I could have walked on, but I chose to go to junior college. So I just want to give you kudos because you still you walked on, you made the team because a lot of people don't understand that you still can be great just because you didn't have the grades. I mean, you, 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 you got the grades because you graduated with a bachelor's, but you still continue on. So kudos that's to you. Excellent. Outstanding. You. Yeah, that's amazing. And so, John, I'm, I'm listening. You have traveled the world, and you said that that has changed your perspective on life. Um, can you just tell the listeners, um, you know, if someone is interested in playing basketball or getting into the sport, what would you tell them the first thing that they should do? First thing they should do is really just have a peace of mind because it gets real tiring. Well, because you can have all the talent that you that you want, but it's politics to it also, you know. And not only within the the basketball world, you have other things coming at you within family, friends, and everything when money get involved. You know what, um, John? I'm just so I'm so super proud of you. I heard something that Regina said a second ago in terms of you know just walking on to the court and doing the things that you, you you've done. Have have there been any? What what would you say has been the most influential thing in your life? Is it did you have to read books? What did you do to kind of keep your keep the right mindset to do the things that you've been able to accomplish in life? Um, the most influential thing it has been my friends. You know, I had a I had a lot of friends that that moved their way to the streets, or they were involved in the streets, but they kept me out of it. So they seen mm-hmm. the potential in me. Even if I thought about doing something and I expressed it to them, they'd be like, "Nah, it's not happening." So I have mm-hmm. great friends in my corner that really pushed me to be the best person that I can be. That's awesome. It's awesome to have a good uh, support group and a network of people that can help keep you going in the right direction. So I'm super excited to hear that. Thank you so much for sharing that with us today. I'm sure there's some young people out there need to know. You got to surround yourself with the right people, right? Yes. Thank you, Kathy. That was a great question. So, okay, because I, I can talk about basketball like all day. Not that I know much about it, but I mean, it's my, been my life since my daughter picked up the ball at four and my son probably around six. So name of your clothing line like you are out here doing some other things like you said training different things like that tell us a little bit, bit about your clothing line and the photography aspect all right with the clothing line it's uh it's called got dreams um me and my cousin uh we brought that about because you know we both played overseas both had a dream to play in the nba and we, we never really we never gave up on it so we just even even if you're not playing basketball or anything you still have everybody has a dream, you know. So we just try to push you to to follow that dream. And the photography, um, yeah, I'm moving along. I'm coming up with it. I'm getting better and better. Um, our prices they're beneficial uh, to the community. They're not really expensive or anything like that. And my goal with the photography is just to let people see their true beauty and um, get past their insecurities. That's wonderful. John, what's the name of your photography company? It's uh, Jinx Golden Productions, but a lot of people know it as Jinx Graphics, so I go with both names. So graphics, do you do other things with, um, along with that, like advertising, flyers, or marketing? Um, I haven't stepped into the marketing aspect of it, but I do um, do flyers, websites. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all hear that yes. out there, flyers, websites, and all that. So we got Jinx, and we have got dreams and we have john (laughs) (laughs) i love you i love that we're gonna take a break and uh pay some bills and we'll be right back 
Regina the Queen of Kyalones here with Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. If you're looking to get into a new or used vehicle with affordable rates, we've got your back. Regardless of your financial situation, I can get you financed today. My lenders are making unheard of deals where others simply cannot. In June, we're giving away 12 months of Jack's Unlimited Car Wash memberships for free to the first 25 people who buy a new or used car from me. Just Google Regina the Queen of Kyalones. Chevrolet, find new roads. Call Brenda Davis now at 248-909-9711 and get started on your new home purchase or sale. Brenda D. Davis, the realtor that moves you. Whether you're relocating to Michigan from another state or country, moving across town, upgrading, or downsizing, Brenda Davis from Century 21 Town & Country Real Estate can make it a smooth, hassle-free experience. Our award-winning offices and the outstanding personal service offered by Brenda Davis and her professional sales associates guide you through the main of infinite details surrounding the purchase or sale of your home. Helping you become familiar with a new area. Finding the right home for your family. Arranging financing and settling in. In a timely fashion is our priority. Assuring that your relocation is a pleasant experience is our ultimate goal. Brenda Davis, an associate broker, is a 21-year career licensed realtor, a member of the National Association of Realtors, and a board member of the North Oakland County Board of Realtors. Call Brenda Davis now at 248-909-9711 and get started on your new home purchase or sale. Brenda D. Davis, the realtor that moves you. We're back and you're listening to be in the driver's seat. I am your host, the host, Regina Eileen Woodard, Regina the Queen of Carlones. And I'm still sitting here with my lovely lady still. Good morning, ladies again. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Well, let's try that one more time. Let's try to say it again. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Did y'all see I was trying to get everybody to sing? One more time. One more time. Good morning. Good morning. morning. I like Y'all, everybody was in the choir church. I know everybody grew up in the church. Everybody was in the choir. And I was an Elton. Did I say that right? No, Alto. Alto, okay. (laughs) Like your toe? I really wish I had an emoji right now. But that's probably exactly what she was, though. <laughs> oh, you're mean. You're mean. You're mean. Oh <laughs> so we're back with Mr. John Cantrell. So, John, um, before we elaborate a little bit more about what you, you know, do, I want to kind of talk about family today. So I know a few years ago I happened to be scrolling Facebook, and I saw that you put a post out to pray for your mom. And I know that you and your mom are close and your dad. So can you kind of elaborate about, you know, your mom and, and that relationship and what went on in her life at that time? Yeah, around that time, um, my mom, she had went through COVID. Uh, she was on the ventilator for 90 days. Uh, she had a rough time. Um, they had to resuscitate her uh, at least six times. She survived it. You know, that's that's a great thing. And um, her going through that experience, it's, it had... It brought me back to where I needed to be as far as praying because I had lost focus with it uh, throughout the years that I had been away from her, you know. So me asking, you know, my peers and everybody to pray for was a big thing to a lot of people because they didn't, they never seen that from me like that, you know. So that kind of pushed me, uh, you know, to talk to my mom more, love my family more, you know, uh, bring back bonds that that I lost with other people because you never know uh, when you the last time you will speak to someone. You know, hmm. so but that's pretty powerful, John. I, I would tell you, uh, families are so important, but just really having that relationship with God. I love the fact that you said that it just brought you closer. Sometimes hard times will bring us, you know, closer in our walk with God. So good to hear. Um, listen, I want to ask a quick question about. Um, just really and truly your uh, mentors mentors, um, and coaches in your life. I know in order for you to get where you have gotten so far, you've had to have people to help push you along the way. Can you share um, some of those that have made an impact on your life, your mentors, your coaches? Oh, yes. Uh, My number one mentor was my father. Uh, I couldn't do anything without earning it. Uh, If I wanted a dollar, I had to do push-ups, push-ups. I had to clean the yard, clean the house before I go out, ride my bike. Um, my number two mentor would be uh, my coach Robinson, Johnny Robinson. Uh, he was my elementary coach, and uh, he pushed me to be 
kind of just like my dad pushed me to be a man more so than a, a basketball player. And um, mm-hmm. Tony Sharp is a good mentor for me. Um, my college coach, Coach James Farr, he's a great mentor. Uh, my high school coach, Craig Covington, he's been a mentor to me also. Because if I wasn't with, with my dad, most likely I was with him um, playing basketball on the road with AAU, things like that. And um, uh, two special women uh, that came into my life that showed me a lot. Um, because my mom was Miss Brenda Causey Mitchell. Um, she taught me a lot of business and uh, how to go about things. And I'm still working on a lot of things like my speech and how I talk and everything like that. But she uh, she took me under her wing and she still has me under there. And she calls in mm-hmm. and checks on me a lot. And um, another lady is uh, Miss Kelly Garrett. Uh, right now she's running for Congress. And, um, Did you just give her a shout out? Did you just give her a... Uh to a thing for she, cause she running for Congress. That was smooth. You know you did that, I, did you? No, I didn't. No, yeah, I didn't. you did. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kelly though. I know Kelly. Shout out to Kelly Gear. But okay. yeah, she's uh she uh she hired me. Uh she seen me at a a grand opening taking photos and um she liked the way I conducted myself. So she hired me as her photographer, you know, on her road, you know, to Congress because she wanted she seen I guess she seen something in me. Mm-hmm. So I just been talking to her and you know, she's been like a mentor to me also. But let me I wanna say one thing. Shout out shout out to Brenda Carley Mitchell. Shout out to Coach Craig Coverton. Shout out to Brenda Cosley again. Just shout out to him because I know both of them. So you have some great influences in your life. Absolutely, absolutely. I know I got excited when I heard those names. Kathy, he did a great job answering those questions yes, about that mentoring. Yes, amazing. I'm not only did he answer, give us the name, but he told us what the impact that they've made on his life. So I totally, totally love that. I'll pitch it over to you, Benjia. <laughs> so all of those things that you talked about um, are very important. So I hope that the parents and the young people that are listening today listen really um, intensively to the importance of having mentors, right? So you talked about how they not only mentored you in maybe your skills and your creativity, but they also mentored you into how how to be a man. They saw something in you. And what you're doing right now, in case you didn't know, is you're when you're reaching back and you're having these camps on Mondays and during the week and different things like that, you're doing the exact same thing. And so they see who you are and they're going to remember you. So they're going to be that Johnny Robinson. They're going to be that Craig Covington and um, Brenda and all these other people. So thank you so much for what you're doing because our kids are um, missing so many different pieces and it, it goes through generation, right? So what is next for you? So you're doing these things with children and, and adults, I'm sure. And you got your clothing line. We talked about that. We talked about your photography. What is next? Um, next is I just did an interview uh, for the athletic director for the Pontiac High. Um, hopefully I get it. But the go. Uh, no, when you get it. Yes. I when you get it. When you need I a petition? What do we need to work. do? <laughs> y- y'all know my whole body tits. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just look at, you know, every I just prepare myself for every aspect of life that, that may uh, concur. But, you know, the goal for me with that is to, you know, focus on the kids and go above and beyond for them. You know, every athletic sport, every kid, every student, every teacher, every administrator, it needed like, like when I was in school, the city was filled with joy. You know, we had two rival, we had a rivalry school, we had a... Uh, Everybody was on one page. We had boosters. We had a. Uh, it was really. It was exciting, you know. And kids were. We were getting in school, but we also. Uh, we also didn't get a lot of things accomplished neither. Like me myself. Like I pushed the kids to uh, take classes on how to take the ACT mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. what they need and learn need to learn to pass the clearinghouse. Uh, have them do like play, player profiles. So each kid to have a profile about their academics, uh, have links with their highlights in it, and you know, um, just a, like a about me about them, and send them out to college coaches and things of that nature, you know, just so they can get that look that they need to be seen. 
Oh, I'm glad I got your phone number because I'm going to be reaching out to you for some additional things. And, you know, sometimes it gets kind of scary when you talk about um, emailing college coaches, right, And to know if that is the proper thing to do. So thank you for saying that. Yes, John. I'm so excited again for all the things that you're doing. Um, so one quick thing that you want to uh, everyone to to get out of this interview that you want to communicate the important message. Um, just be uh just whatever you do in life, just push yourself to be great. You know, don't worry about failing because, you know, that failure is a lesson. And also, don't worry about um, being understood. Just try more so to understand people, you know. So as long as you have that understanding of that person, then it's fine. That's all you need to do, you know. You will be understood because that's just how life is, you know. Once you, once you got purity with you in your heart, people will see that. Wonderful. So tell the viewers how can they, the listeners, how can they get in contact with you? Um, you can go to jinxgoldenproductions.com or you can follow me on Facebook at John Cantrell. Uh, my Instagram, my IG is uh, Jinx Golden Productions. And also my number is 248-843-5757. Say that number one more time. 248-843-5757. All right, we want to thank you for being on our show. Thank you for taking time out your busy schedule for joining us. And just we want to con wish you continued success in the community. And we know that you got that job. So congratulations already. So thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back after we pay some bills for our sponsors. Regina the Queen of Carlones here with Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. If you're looking to get into a new or used vehicle with affordable rates, we've got your back. Regardless of your financial situation, I can get you financed today. My lenders are making unheard of deals where others simply cannot. In June, we're giving away 12 months of Jack's Unlimited Car Wash memberships for free to the first 25 people who buy a new or used car from me. Just Google Regina the Queen of Carlones. Chevrolet, find new roads. Call Brenda Davis now at 248-909-9711 and get started on your new home purchase or sale. Brenda D. Davis, the realtor that moves you. Whether you're relocating to Michigan from another state or country, moving across town, upgrading, or downsizing, Brenda Davis from Century 21 Town & Country Real Estate can make it a smooth, hassle-free experience. Our award-winning offices and the outstanding personal service offered by Brenda Davis and her professional sales associates guide you through the main of infinite details surrounding the purchase or sale of your home. Helping you become familiar with a new area. Finding the right home for your family. Arranging financing and settling in. In a timely fashion is our priority. Assuring that your relocation is a pleasant experience is our ultimate goal. Brenda Davis, an associate broker, is a 21-year career licensed realtor, a member of the National Association of Realtors, and a board member of the North Oakland County Board of Realtors. Call Brenda Davis now at 248-909-9711 and get started on your new home purchase or sale. Brenda D. Davis, the realtor that moves you. We're back and you listen to the Be in the Driver's Seat. And I'm your host, Regina, the Queen of Carlones. And I am joined with whom? Dr. Who? T. And Sanjia, Miss 411. So I know real quick we wanted to talk about gap insurance. And I know that John had experience with gap insurance. So John, you wanna you wanna tell everybody our, your experience you had with gap insurance? Oh yeah, I went to the um, to the car place. I didn't uh put enough money down, I guess, to get the gap, but I ended up getting into a car accident. Lost out on everything, but I still owe. So gap gap insurance is let me just explain what gap so if you lease a vehicle and gap insurance comes with comes with it automatically. Gap insurance is where if your vehicle is deemed a total loss by your insurance company, the gap insurance will come in and pay that car off. I really didn't want to get in a lot of detail about the gap insurance this morning because I could give you two or three definitions. I could really just horn in on it, but we only have a couple minutes. But let me just speak to his situation with gap insurance. He wasn't leasing his vehicle. He was doing a purchase on his vehicle, and he was driving a very nice vehicle. And when he purchased that vehicle, um, he was sold a warranty. And he said, "What you know? Can I have gap insurance?" And they said, "No, I can't. I can't sell you gap insurance." Well. In my eyes, in the real world, 
is that the reason they didn't sell you gap insurance because they sold you that warranty. They could have bought the price of the warranty down and sold you gap insurance or asked you for more money down because you put money down. So there's always one way to skin a cat or two or three ways to skin a cat when it comes to gap insurance. And I think what I need to do is I need to eventually come back and have a segment and talk about gap insurance because people don't understand the importance of gap insurance. You can always get a warranty later, but gap insurance, you cannot after your loan starts unless you refinance and you go to a different financial institution. But we want to thank you for listening to Be In The Driver's Seat. Yes, we're so glad that you came and joined us today. Absolutely. And Sanjia, Sanjia Wiggins, Wiggins 411, you join us once a month, right? Yes, I appreciate it. I have a good time every time. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Be In The Driver's Seat, and we'll you'll listen to us same time, same place, next Saturday at 8.30 a.m. You've been listening to Be In The Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. Brought to you by Joe Blumhammer Chevrolet of Waterford. Be In The Driver's Seat, a Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. From Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore, thank you for listening. 